Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, as expected, with the CDC announcing the closure of the cruise ports in North America for a 100 days extension, Carnival Cruise Line is the first one to drop the hammer. Today, Carnival Cruise Line came out and announced that they will no longer be having any North American stalings there. Uh, shut down in cooperation with the U.S. government officials and the CDC is now closed down until July. I'm sorry, June 26th, and they expect to resume again on June 27th. Not only that, the Carnival Sunrise, which was scheduled to sail out of New York this season for summer and fall, the entire itinerary has been cancelled all the way up until the end of 2020. So some big changes for Carnival. Now a lot of people might put two and two together and put the math together and they say, well wait a minute, the CDC closed down for 100 days. That brings it out until August, middle or late August. And they're only shutting down to June 26th. And if you remember yesterday's video, I talked about mitigating the damage and doing their announcements a little bit at a time. That's what they're doing in this case. They know they have to shut down for May and June. They're just hoping that things settle down and come back online because remember the CDC did say that if things change that they can open up the ports. They can lift that order. So they're kind of hoping that they don't lose all of July and August as well. They're hoping that they can keep the business there and also again mitigate the damage to their shares and their stocks and the mass panic. So that sounds, you know, completely reasonable with what we hear. Again, though, it leaves people with cruises in July 1st and on a little bit in limbo, but that's kind of the current situation where we live in. At least all the cruise lines still have their guaranteed refund up until 48 hours ahead of time uh, for, you know, getting your future cruise credits for your cruise. So at least there is some insurance out there. For people uh, and a lot of, then you have the other cruise lines now Carnival Cruise Line owns you know 10 different cruise lines including Holland America and Princess Cruise Lines and this announcement is only right now dealing with Carnival cruise ships under that brand it doesn't come out with the other cruise lines yet however um, I have it under good authority that probably on Tuesday tomorrow the 14th Princess will announce what they're doing and you'll probably see the other lines out shortly. It's completely different for some cruise lines like Ada uh, and P&O out of, you know, the English side of it into Britain and the UK in Europe. If you notice, this was only for North American cruises. They're still leaving the door open for all of the, you know, European and Asian and Australian cruises. They're hoping that at some point one of the countries is going to open up and they can experiment and get a few ships out there and get people's confidence going again in cruising. So yeah, Carnival Cruise Line is dropping the hammer. They're the first ones. So it's going to be a total of almost 100 days by the time from their first first announcement. So that's where we stand right now. It looks like no cruises out of North America till at least the beginning uh, of July, end of June, and people are saying, well, Don, what about Alaska? If they sail out of Seattle, they still need a port in Canada. Why would they not just go till July 1st so they know that Can maybe Canadian ports will be open at that point? And here's the logic behind that. If you're sailing from a U.S. port, you need one stop in a Canadian port to have a legal cruise, basically. And what they're planning probably to do is to be leaving out of Seattle, hit the Alaskan ports. So you leave, say, on the 27, 28. The first few stops are all in Alaska, and then they'll hit Victoria or British Columbia, Vancouver on the way back near the end of the seven-day cruise, which would be in July, which would constitute a legal cruise. So they're able to start up for Alaska that one week early and still, you know, be safe that if the Canadian ports are going to open, they'll open on July 1st. So 
that's hopefully you know something that does happen in a way i'm because that means a lot of good things have happened if cruises are starting up again in july i would like nothing better because that means that people are being able to get out again and something's happened dramatically that changes the situation we're all in right now let me know what you guys think do you think this should have just gone with the 100 days to august or do you understand their reasoning behind slowly announcing? I know it's a bit of a pain for all of us who have cruises booked and are wondering, well, I'm right at that deadline. What do I do? You know, and what should I, it, we just have to play it by ear and Carnival will be reaching out to everybody and sending you an email or your travel advisor an email with their offers, which usually means you're gonna either get future cruise credits or onboard credits, or you can ask for your refund. So all the details will be coming out in an email. They don't have any specifics up for us right now. But I imagine in the next couple of days that will pop up on the website as well. Well, I hope you appreciate this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation whenever we can.